had a pretty sizable size bracket today. Strive bracket today. We had a pretty sizable DNF duel for the first showing. Game just came out. Grand finals. Let's go. Gets the overhead. Oh, good catch out so far. That's a lot of damage. And Hitman starts his stuff. Good conversion. It's his turn. Gets hit by the low. It's too good. It's so good. Doesn't get hit this time, but Hitman very good at saying, it is my turn. Stop pressing. Gets the 6H. Pick up. A lot of damage cash out. Can't quite kill. I stand corrected. That was sick. Needed full resources, but got it anyway. We in there. Ooh, low into run-up grab. DP to counter the dash-up. Is that how far head safe? Might be. Anyway, Hitman getting the hit, as they say. OTG. Ooh, early on the meaty uh, overhead, he gets the grab. Koma just trying to zone him out here. Shazay getting a hit. This should convert into a win. You have full magic. Nope, not quite. It gets the low, gets the low. It is worth pointing out that Lost Warrior having one of the handful of quote unquote bad, well, yeah, bad, but invincible reversals, which is just a counter and it loses to lows. Counters in this game, as far as I know, all counters lose to lows. Ooh, good dash blocks, good dash block, good stuff. Good overhead. Oh, getting so much mileage off the JH zoning. Oh, I love hit and combos. They're so satisfying to watch. I got hit by that. No overhead, just the low. Oh, the tick throw. Should kill. And that is Shazai taking a quick 1-0. Koma looks like he's thinking. We haven't actually seen a single Hitman come back this, this set yet. We haven't seen why Hitman is just such a good character. Oh, that's so much damage. You aren't using that health, right? Multiple lows, just not blocking them. Oh, gets the tick throw into the grab, pushing him in the corner. Enforce your pressure. Uh, Lost Warrior not really having a good fast anti-air that can actually do the jump in like that. Good stuff, but this is a time stop combo. I want to say this doesn't kill, but they proved me wrong before. This is when Hitman is so scary. He gets the DP into the uh, uh, M move. Awakening move. Go. Koma respecting the follow-up. Good job. Ooh, tries to do a long range hit, but gets teleported on top of. Koma making this close. Ooh, the overhead. Good stuff. Falls for it again. Good damage cash out. Shazay having three of the uh, time stop stacks, but gets a hit. I'm gonna push to the corner. This should be a good damage cash out as well as put him in the corner. Oh, conversion for just a little bit extra. Guard, oh, does the reversal, but doesn't get hit by anything. The counter doesn't trigger and gets hit low. Low. Pressure. Rolls out. Good. That's minus. Take your turn. Good block. Oh. Waits to see the move and then just goes to the uh, to S. Hits. Not quite an awakening. So this is a really, really good spot for Koma. Oh, shift him into awakening. Hitman's now the scariest character in the entire game. And if he can convert, this is a kill. Drops it, no. And that's gonna be super. Oh. 
Koma drops the combo, but Shaze just panics and alpha counters. Still new to the game. We're making it through. Ooh, Koma getting so much mileage off of just to jump back, J Edge pressure. Combos. We're one one situation right now. Kiss the dash through. <laughs> Panics a little bit, didn't think he would get it. But managed to get the conversion anyway. The counter finally coming through. Not getting sucked out by a low. Ooh, crossed up. Blocked right this time. Hit. Ooh, that was sick. Using the conversion to delay the fall. Get extra overheads. Oh, gets the jump and grab. Challenged on wake up, though. And this might be a death. Nope, and it spent too much mana. Yeah, that's my kill for sure. Good stuff. Hitman, the comeback king. <sighs> I think it's really... An, this is. I don't want to call it like a Dark Phoenix type situation. It's not far off. It is inevitable that you're going to have to fight this unless you just do a full 30% from above it. Which is very hard without having already been close to losing around yourself because this round gives you more... Or this game gives you more resources the worse in position you are. That's why it's so explosive. It's so fun. Matches just get more exciting. There's no such thing as a blowout. Matches get more exciting as they go on. Good pressure. Enforce your turn. Ooh! I think that was supposed to be a dash up grab, but dash is weird in this game. We have no dash macro, and dashing out of move can be a little bit tight. Ooh, gets hit, but doesn't get a follow-up. Rolls out. 2S into the combo. Good conversion. Ooh, countered. Nice. Teleports out behind you. Hits him. Converts. Very good. Ooh, Koma not too far off from potentially resetting this bracket. Very good round start. So that combo is actually specifically designed. If you look at the uh, magic meter, it looks like he's using magic at zero. The dive down is done exactly as he hits one mana. So it just never even pops up to one. People have already labbed out this stuff where like you just barely have enough stuff if you do the complex inputs to get these combos in. But we have pressure from Hitman here. Good patience. Got hit and tries to jump out immediately. Not hit by the overhead this time. Good stuff. DP? Yeah, that should kill. 100%. And Shaze is now up 2-1. Tournament point, potentially. And Koma was looking so strong in that set. Nice. Nice. How did none of that hit? None of that is blockable in the air. <laughs> Both players throwing out stuff, and it just works. Hit. Goes for the counter, but it was just an empty jump. Goes for the grab. Not empty jumping that time. Alpha counter. I respect that. I didn't know he was going to hit. I was very scared. Hitman getting the conversion. Tries to do an empty jump, but it's so early. Shikoma's just ready with the grab. Forces back to neutral. Change getting uh, pressure. Hitman somewhat susceptible to keep away. Ooh, gets the low, gets the low. This should be a kill. Yeah, he was full mana. There's no way he can convert that. Ooh, I think challenge try, uh, tried to challenge start round jump in. Didn't get it. There's going to be a major cash out for Koma. Ooh, quick grab. Good attack. Mm, tries to go for the combo, doesn't quite have it. Hitman combos. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get knocked up again. Ooh, good stuff. Gets the overhead. I think Koma expecting him to jump and blocking low there. 
Oh, the overhead's so good. It's so good because it's variable hit, so it's so hard to tell. This character's so good. Hit. Trying to reset pressure. Ooh, did you just, no, you're not an awakening. You can't kill here. And now Hitman is an awakening, so he's very, very scary. Good roll through, good challenge. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And that is Shaze taking the tournament. Very good patience. Runs up, scares him into pressing a button, and gets the win. Congratulations to Shaze winning with the Hitman and Xanadu's first ever DNF Duel Tournament. Oh, that was so great. I love this game. I love this game so much. Uh, thank you, Tacoma, earlier for helping out with commentary on DNF Duel. Uh, good job on second place to him. That is something that will forever go in the history books. That's our top two. Uh, if you are in the Laurel, Maryland area, this is Xanadu. We have fighting games every single week. We have Smash Monday, Tuesday, I want to say, something like that. We have other fighting games on Thursday, including Guilty Gear Strive. We sometimes have Tekken. We have, obviously, DNF Duel now. We have, coming up this Sunday in the evening, the Bread and Butter Monthly, which is the monthly here at Xanadu. Awesome tournament. You should check it out. 